Good day, YouTube. This is just a bit of a quick comparison between Linux Mint, the latest release, 20.3 on the left, and Pop! OS 21.10 on the right. So first of all, it's good to say that uh, Linux Mint is actually uh, running on the default Cinnamon desktop environment, the in-house built desktop environment, whereas Pop! OS on the right-hand side is actually running on its uh, GNOME uh, desktop environment, also the default desktop environment for that one. Now they are actually both based on Ubuntu, uh, true story, but Linux Mint is actually based on the long-term service release, so sometimes a bit of an older kernel, as you can see there, whereas Pop! OS is running on the latest point release of Ubuntu, and so you can see a much later and greater kernel there. But having a look at the, uh, say, the desktop environment itself, so they are actually quite apples to oranges here. We've got our start menu on the left-hand side here. We've got our app launcher. In a way similar, so you've got your uh, start menu or work, workplaces and applications menu to open up things here. They've really updated it, so I, I really do like the look and feel of the later version of GNOME, GNOME 41 uh, approximately here. Now uh, it's got the nice uh, application launcher on the bottom there as well, so that's nice to see. Uh, if we if we were to right click, uh, we will see some of the, the bit of the context menu there, so that's just uh, I guess is what it is there. Now the uh, file manager should be much for muchness. Now of course they're going with their own color tones. So you got green for mint on the right or left and then you got pop os really blue on the right hand side there. But if you click uh, right click you go to Nemo, you'll find that we're running uh, Nemo and files which is really much for muchness in terms of what they do and what they support and how they help out. But hey, as long as you can right click and open a terminal, that makes me pretty happy as always there. Even to this day, there's a few operating systems that don't allow that, a few Linux based operating systems, so that's, that's kind of funny to me. Uh, now, as I was mentioning before, the kernel is uh, much later and greater, so keep that in mind if you've got later hardware, uh, CPUs, GPUs, Wi-Fi cards, all of the above and more. Uh, and uh, let's see, we have uh, so CPU and RAM, so the CPU looks good, nicely idling out there. The RAM, uh, using about 650 megabytes of RAM on boot up for Linux Mint, whereas on the Pop! OS 21.10 side, we have about 900 uh, megabytes of RAM, so a good 300 meg more, but that is, to me, to be expected. GNOME, uh, the GNOME desktop environment is sometimes known to be a bit more heavyweight. Always something to factor in, depending on the type of old or powerful or new or, or not powerful. Uh, laptop or PC that you might be installing these poppies on. Thanks. So thanks for watching guys. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one. In the next one!